Hello, Tag Marketing Geek Out. My name is Caroline Dunn, and I am here to talk to you about innovating, driving revenue, and brand awareness with smart assistants. In this video, I'll present a case study where we created a new line of revenue for a traditionally in-person business. I'll talk about creating brand awareness and answer the most common questions that I get about smart assistants from other marketers. And as a bonus, I have a special guest, my client, world-ranked and all-American track athlete, Tina Klein, owner of Balanced Running. If you're watching without headphones and you have one of these devices nearby, please mute your device now. I will say the wake word during my presentation and it could set off your device. Let me frame up my presentation by saying that I believe tag marketing is at the forefront of innovation because we're at the intersection of new ideas and technology. When the pandemic hit, it really made us think about how many businesses are dependent upon in-person interactions. And in a way, it accelerated innovation and made us more creative. And as marketers, we're known as the creative ones. In the past year, you have probably spent more time at home and it has driven your purchasing decisions. It has also driven more purchases of smart assistants. I got my in-laws an Echo Show so that we could do video calling. My in-laws have actually adapted to the Echo Show really well. All they have to do now is say, Alexa, call Caroline, and they can see and talk to me almost instantaneously. But let's get back to marketing innovation and hitting our target markets. If millennials are in your target market that you need to reach, I've got great news for you. The vast majority of people who own smart assistants are millennials. They have adopted this technology faster than any other demographic. Alexa skills are like apps for your Echo smart assistant. All Alexa skills are free to start. Most of them actually don't have an in-app purchase component. But unlike smartphone apps, you don't have to download each app individually. For the most part, skills come pre-enabled on your device. And that's also true for Google Home, also known as Google Nest Audio today. I am so thrilled to bring you my client today, world-ranked and all-American track athlete, Coach Tina Klein. You are a world-ranked and all-American athlete for Team USA. Where have you traveled for Team USA? Well, I've literally traveled around the world representing Team USA. And in 2018, I, comp I competed in Malaga, Spain. And just before that, I went to South Korea and visited the demilitarized zone uh, near the border with North Korea. When you're not out winning medals for Team USA, what are you doing? I'm coaching runners. Uh, I'm coaching runners of all levels and, and all abilities through, through my company, Balanced Running. And I'm also the running coach at Lifetime Fitness. I have to pay for my own travel expenses, equipment to compete in, in international competitions. And unfortunately, that's true for most Team USA athletes, isn't it? That's correct. So we have to raise funds and, and continue to work. But it's an honor to be part of Team USA. And it's an honor for us to, to hear you. That was a good segue into how has your business changed since the pandemic? Oh, goodness. It's great. <laughs> Well, it's changed in good ways. And there have been some challenges. I mostly coach outdoors. Now with the group training, I've had some individual clients who want to sign up as one-on-one as -on -one coaching because they want to avoid the, the group gatherings, which, which is certainly understandable. But pertaining to our discussion today, the pandemic has really forced me to embrace technology more than ever before. So before the pandemic, I was already on the path with technology. Th thanks to Caroline, um, she ran, Caroline revamped my website, my tips in on how to get started on running and YouTube and podcasts. She also got me set up on weekly cadence and, and sending out emails. When the pandemic hit, um, Caroline approached me and said, we need to come up with a way to do virtual coaching. She pointed out that I send out training plans to my athletes customized to their goals. And was there a way that I could standardize that? So I pushed back and said, well, it depends on their current training and the current level of fitness. I coach all levels and I have total beginners uh, who are just starting to run, starting to do a training uh, to dabblers, some to people walk, run. And I have seasoned runners and, and world rank athletes such as Caroline herself. So we work together on, on the Alexa skill. Um, I mentioned earlier that this skill is English and in German. 
Amazon has their reasons why they launched German with in-app purchases early on. Amazon felt it was a good revenue potential for themselves in that German market. Tell me how we were able to make a skill in German. Oh, uh, alles good. Ich liebe Training in Deutschland. Um, I all is good. I love training in, in German and uh, living in Germany. Of course, it helped me with my German skills, my German speaking skills, my writing skills. I served my country in the army. I was an army captain. I was in Germany for 10 years. It just matched perfectly that I spoke German and I was able to create all the training plans in German in addition to English. We have a uh, Deutsche on Alexa. So we have German on Alexa, German training plans. And they have also released Spanish now. And you're also very fluent. That, that's basically next for us is we will release the skill in Spanish as well. We've had reach out from people from Germany asking us about training and they've purchased our training plans. So any final thoughts before we close? As a running coach, I, I've always promoted health and active lifestyle. You don't need to be a marathon runner. It's all about balance. It's all about doing things healthy eating healthy, having the right options, um, training. When the pandemic hit, I, I was so proud of my athletes because they stayed safe. They continued to follow the COVID re restrictions without complaining. They're still alive today. Um, they're healthy and, and they can be one of the greatest defenses when it comes to global pandemics. And following science, I mean, all, our, all the athletes that I coach truly follow science. The road is our gym, really. The parks are our gym. So when you're out there being healthy, you're being active. Every step matters. Every step counts. It's one foot forward. And it's all about improving your life and improving your health and mental well-being. Thank you so much for this interview. And now we're going to get back to the demo of the skill. All right. Let me start with an overview of how the training plans Alexa skill works. And then I'll cut over to my Echo device so that you can see it in action. The skill is available in the U.S. and in Germany. U.S. and Germany were the first two allowed in skill purchasing, and that was an Amazon decision. I'm confident Amazon looked at their revenue opportunities to come to that decision. Basically, you start the skill by saying, Alexa, open my training plans. The skill will walk you through a couple of setup questions, such as your goal distance. In the U.S., it is 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon. In Germany, it is 5K and 8K distances. After you get everything set up, it's really easy. Every day, Alexa can tell you what your workout is according to your training plan on your training schedule. And that's why it's called My Training Plans. If that didn't make any sense to you, that's okay. I have a quick demo that I'll cut over to you so you can see it in action. But keep this in mind. Before the pandemic, balanced running was limited to coaching people in Atlanta. Today, coach Tina Klein is getting paid to coach people across the US and in Germany in a turnkey format as a new revenue stream. The upfront work was intense, but now we are enjoying the spoils of our labor. Launch my training plan. Welcome to your training plan. We provide training plans for 5K, 10K, and half marathon and marathon road races. Our training plans are custom designed by United States track and field certified running coach, Tina Klein, but I'll let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Tina Klein, and I'm a certified run coach and world ranked track athlete. I'm here to help you reach your fitness goals. So let's get some realistic reachable goals together. Whether you're a rookie, someone who's never run a race, or perhaps just one run, or a dabbler if you walk some, run some, or have done at least two, two to five five Ks, or a seasoned runner, someone who wants to increase their running performance, their times, or just get better at their running, we are here to help you reach realistic goals. Would you like to learn more about our 5K training plan? Yes. The 5K is 3.1 miles in the most common road race distance today. This training plan is always free. If you're a beginner runner, Coach Klein encourages you to start here. If you're a seasoned runner looking to increase your speed, the version for seasoned runners is also free. Here's Coach Klein to tell us more. So let's talk about the 5K. Here's a brief overview. This is Tina Klein, your certified run coach. Training for a 5K is a great way to get started on your fitness journey. I've developed a 5K training plan with the beginner slash rookie to the intermediate or dabbler in mind. If you're interested in just starting out, I'd encourage you to run walk 
your first 5K at a regular interval with a training plan to help you reach those goals. Now, when we say run, walk, run when you can, walk if you must. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, we're starting out from scratch. We're building your base to become a better performance runner for a 5K. The 5K training plan is six to eight weeks in length. Come back each day to this skill and we will provide a personalized workout for the day. Can I get you started with a free 5K training plan now? Yes. Let's get started setting up your 5K training plan. I'd like to refer to you by your first name. What is your first name or nickname I can call you by? Caroline. Coach Klein recommends a six-week training plan for your first 5K. Can I set your goal date for six weeks from today? Yes. I've set your 5K goal date for Thursday, March 4, 2021. Let's now determine the level that you would like to train. We offer three levels of training to custom fit your needs, rookie, dabbler, and seasoned. A rookie is just getting started or brand new to running. A dabbler has completed a few races within the last year and seasoned runner has completed at least five races this year and is seeking to improve their running efficiency. Are you a rookie, dabbler, or seasoned runner? Seasoned runner. Caroline. As a seasoned runner, your workout for today is four miles easy long run. Come back every day for a new workout, or come back after your workout to log your run. Enjoy your workout. Congratulations on completing your 5K training plan. The next step in your fitness journey is conquering the 10K. This 10K training plan is 8 to 10 weeks long and combines easy runs with core workouts and interval training. Here's Coach Klein to tell us more. As you know, the 5K is a 3.1. The 10K is double that, 6.2 miles. And it's easy, it's fun, and it's a reachable goal. But you have to train smart would you like to hear more about the 10K training plan? Yes. The 10K training plan was created by certified run coach Tina Klein and has been proven to help runners achieve their goals at all levels. Prime members save 19 cents. Without Prime, your price is 99 cents plus tax. Would you like to buy it? Yes. Great. You have successfully purchased 10K training plan. Thank you for your purchase. Let's get started. Caroline, your workout for today is Run walk 4 miles, first mile nice and easy, miles 2 and 3 1 minute on and 1 minute off meaning run 1 minute hard, then back off the next minute. Repeat for miles 2 and 3, then use mile 4 as your easy recovery run. Now that you've seen it in action, let's geek out for a minute here on the numbers and how the skill actually works. The 5K training plan is always free as sample content. After you finish the 10K plan, the skill automatically upsells you to purchase the 10K plan for 99 cents. This is a one-time purchase. We can change the price from 99 cents to $10 or more at any time. The way the money works, we take 70% of the revenue and Amazon keeps 30%. For Germany, we set the price to euros, same 70-30 cut, and the revenue is converted to US dollars and then direct deposited into our account. With in-scale purchasing, you can choose a one-time fee, a monthly fee, or a consumable fee. The consumable is mostly used in gaming. For example, you can buy an extra life so that you can keep on playing your game. We decided not to do a monthly fee since most of the training plans span several months. And we also decided not to do a consumable, although we could have done a consumable. We just wanted to keep it very simple. Out of all of our unique users, and this includes people who may have only opened the skill once, we have a 3% conversion rate, 3% paid clients. That's actually better than average for mobile apps, which average 1% to 2%. Now let's segue into brand awareness. The biggest complaint I get from clients today is there are too many social media platforms. I can't keep up with this. Why can't customers come to me on my favorite platform? And quite frankly, voice assistants are just adding to the frustration. Unfortunately, as consumers, we have our preferences and we expect brands to be on the platform of our choice. 
For large companies, they have the budget to be on every platform. I've worked with mid-sized companies that have a VP of innovation that will contract with me to put together a proof of concept so that they can actually get the budget they actually need approved. For mid-sized companies, getting their app out on a smart assistance could create the competitive edge over that thousand pound gorilla that they're fighting every day. If you have a radio station, having your radio station stream on Alexa is table stakes now. The radio industry has suffered for advertising dollars for years. Now they're going to their advertisers and saying, hey, you can reach more millennials now that we're streaming on Alexa. I have a funny story about my most successful skill. One day, I made a recording on my phone of myself opening a can of cat food. I released a skill called cat food and it was instantly my most popular skill. I think people were saying, Alexa, open cat food by accident or just trying to be funny. It was a terrible skill. When I started, there was just one recording. I started getting negative reviews on my cat food skill. When in-app purchasing came along, I added a question after the sound of the cat food can opening. The question was, was your cat tricked? If the user said no, then it responded, do you want me to shake a treat bag? And you can see where I was kind of going after that. I ended up selling a can opening sound followed by a treat bag shake for 99 cents. Yes, people actually buy this stuff. I have had zero returns to date. I tell you this story to say, never be afraid to think outside the box. Use what you know, listen to your feedback. To end my presentation, I want to answer the questions that I am asked most often by other marketers. Number one, how can I obtain the user's contact info from Alexa for lead generation? For example, I want to get the email address and phone number of everybody who's ever opened my skill so that I can add them to my email list. While I applaud the marketer in you, it doesn't work that way. Permission marketing is real. First of all, any contact information, even a zip code is opt-in. The user has to open the Alexa app on their phone and press allow and check the information that they are giving you. If that's not tough enough, Amazon approves every skill and they want to understand why you feel you need that information to work. If you are doing something that's weather related, you would need their zip code to get their location to give them the weather. If you're just collecting information for purposes outside of Alexa, Amazon will not approve your skill. As a side note about Alexa and privacy, I have published two videos on protecting your privacy with Alexa in your home and one video on protecting your privacy with Google Home. Just last week, American College of Education contacted me because they are going to include my content in their 2021 cybersecurity course. If you'd like to see these videos, contact me, I'll send you the link. Can I send an email from an Alexa skill to the end user? Short answer, yes you can. It is technically possible. I've done it. You have to use a legitimate email sending service. And of course, Amazon prefers that you use their service, SES, Simple Email Sending, in AWS. In order to send emails from SES, you have to go through the standard approval process, which includes providing a sample email and how often you will send your user's email and so on and so forth. How can I change Alexa so that my business is mentioned first every time the user says X? This is the equivalent of how do I become number one in Google search rankings? You can change Alexa's answers pretty easily on your personal devices, but it's pretty hard to change Alexa's answers on everybody's devices. From the branding perspective, I recommend publishing a skill on Alexa in your company's name. It could be a really simple skill with your content. If Alexa doesn't understand a user's request, it will suggest a skill that most closely matches what they said. That could be your skill. And I think that's happened to me quite a few times. Thank you for watching my recorded presentation. I'm excited to listen to your questions and always feel free to contact me via social media. I am the Caroline Dunn on Twitter and Instagram. And speaking of Google, I am the number one Google search result for my own name, Caroline Dunn.